How is everybody out there? I hope you're great, just like me here. Though I just burned my finger on my little grill, I'm going to try to do something a little on the Asian side. I just finished making a cooking class, doing a cooking class, and I made that risotto, but I am tired of seeing it. So, Andrew, take this risotto away and take it home to your wife. She might like it, okay? Yes, yeah. Okay, here, thank you. What is that green oil here? It's grapeseed oil. Oh, I hate it. I hate the color. Take it with you. It's terrible. All right. Now I'm so hungry. I've had some boring wine. Oh, it's my Pinot, so it's not so bad. But cheers, everybody out there. You know, I love to cook and I love to do all these different things. But for me, it has to be exciting. So I went to the fish market this morning. I went to the Thai market, got some delicious chili. And I love macadamia nuts. I just was in Hawaii. We have a restaurant in Maui. And we played around with macadamia nut crusting and so forth. So I'm going to make a little sauce with it, maybe in some fish. So let me see if I have something left over. If not, I'm going to come to your house out there and eat with you. Maybe. Why not? Okay. Well, we have a few things left here. Not a lot. It's pretty empty, the refrigerator, and it's only Thursday. Well, we have a few shrimps here and a few scallops. This one looks pretty nice. Where did you get them, Andrew? At the Filipino market. At the Filipino market. You know, they love me in the Philippines. I think I'm going to go back there one of these days. I always get people tell me, oh, my God, you're so well known in the Philippines. I remember when the Filipino president came, a lady, I don't know, it wasn't Aquino, but the next one. And she said, I know you. And I said, Madam, I never met you. I never went to Manila or anywhere. She said, I see you on television all the time. I said, what? You have time to watch television? You're like Donald Trump then. He wasn't there then, but this day it is. So, all right. I have some shrimps here and I'm going to peel them. You know, you don't want to eat the shell. Unless you want to get really dirty. So I'm just going to try to grill them so that way it's really fast. Okay, okay I'm going to get... Question. I'm going to get what? We have an audience. Yeah? What they will need already? Are they bugging me already? Are you bugging me already out there? Let me cook a little bit. That's what I do. I'm not a, a question. I have to bring my lawyer in maybe, huh? What is the question? How did I get into cooking? You know what? My mother was a chef also. So my father wanted me to be a mechanic or a carpenter. He said that's a manly profession. I always liked cooking, especially pastries. So I used to help in the summer my mother. And we were so poor, I couldn't go to architecture school. That's what I really wanted to do. So I started to cook as an apprentice when I was 14 years old. And Worked in Austria for three years as an apprentice. At 17, I moved to France. And there at a restaurant called Beaumaniere, really the owner there, Raymond Tullier, he really showed me the light. He became my mentor. And I said, I want to be like you. I remember when he brought Elizabeth Taylor in the kitchen as a young 19-year-old. Oh, my God. I said, Jesus Christ, if I could go to bed with her, I would give up my life or anything. I mean, it was so crazy. All right, so, but that was a good beginning. And then I came to America. It wasn't that bad afterwards either. I ended up in Indianapolis first. And, you know, Indianapolis in the 70s was not that interesting. But the girls were nice. So I hope my wife is not watching because she's going to say, why are you telling everybody your story? All right. Yeah, I have a few shrimps and a few scallops. You know, my, safe, my favorite seafood is really things I can eat and things which are really fresh. You can see the shrimp here, look at them. They were still in the water this morning. And I thought maybe on YouTube, people don't gonna like it if I eat them raw alive. So we killed them before. Okay. So now I wanna give them a little island flavor maybe. I was thinking about that all day. Maybe the shrimps are going to cut them in half. You know, there's a vein in there, so we don't want that in our shrimp. So I'm going to get just a few of each, and I'm going to see which one is better, the shrimp or the scallops with it. So cut them in half just like that. 
I could leave them whole too. I'm going to try a few both ways. I like this fresh shrimps because they are really, really delicious. They have great flavor, also great consistency, great texture. See this dark thing in here? That's where all the shit goes through. You want to take it out. Okay, or well, we call it poop in America. I think so. That was something like that. I don't know. I didn't. I never was good at doing diapers. You know, my wife always tells me, "You never did diapers." I said, "I changed them twice." What do you mean? I'm not good at it. So, Chad, what does it take to be a great chef? You know, in anything, if you have passion and you love what you do, you can become pretty good at it. I, that's what I believe, at least. You know. I became very passionate about food when I worked at Beaumanier. <clears throat> and there, Raymond Tuillier, who was at that time 70 years old, he was one of the most passionate people. And he really showed me what cooking really is, what hospitality is. He was so amazing. So to me, that changed my life. And being passionate and loving food is a really important part. <clears throat> All right, so now... I have some macadamia nuts here with wasabi and the one with a little coconut caramel. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crush them. It's good to have a hammer in the house as a weapon. So you use that and then I'm gonna open it up and see. Mm, smells pretty sweet in here. All right, let me get that. Okay, excellent. Okay, somebody will clean up later, I hope. Now we're going to put a little salt and pepper on our shrimps and scallops here. It's very important to season everything really well. Okay, salt and pepper. And what else? We have some chili flakes left here. All right, let's sprinkle them. On here, ooh, I like it spicy. I think it looks good already. Just like that, I could eat it raw with a little lime juice, probably. All right. Sure. And um, for people just tuning in, they want to know what you're making. Okay, I don't know what I'm making. I it's just making love. You know, do you ask your boyfriend or your husband what you're gonna do next? No, I don't know either yet. But I'm making scallops and shrimp, and I think I'm gonna make a macadamia nut vinaigrette with it. So we'll see what comes out. I tell you at the end. So stay with me, okay? All right. So here I have scallops and I'm going to put them in our macadamia nuts here. And I'm going to do the same thing with, with my shrimps. Chef, Anna says she has your knives and, they love, and she loves them. Oh, thank you, Anna. Look at that. I have them too here. See that? This one is my favorite. I made many different knives, but these are my favorite because they're really like professional knives out there and at a great price. I hope you got them at HSN or somewhere because they give you a good price. Okay, so here I have some shrimps and I put them all in macadamia nut crumbs here. You can see that? Color, shrimps and everything. Okay, this one, I'm gonna put them on the side. Okay, because this fits in here. So that's enough to taste. So now, I gonna add, I put salt and pepper. Yeah, I did. I think I did. Yeah. Okay. So now a little oil. I use olive oil, but you can use grapeseed oil, any kind of oil you really like. So now this I don't need anymore. Okay. So the grill here is really hot. My panini grill. It's really hot. So I use that at home all the time in our restaurants for little things that the bar is perfect. So this more or less going to be a bar food. And I actually told my son Byron, who also went to the restaurant school at Cornell and uh, things like that. But I told him, you know, at the end of the day, you have to work hard. All right. So, you know, the macadamia nuts are sweet so sweet and spicy goes really well together i love sweet and spicy okay we have a little space for a few shrimps okay and now i'm gonna close that up this we can do another one later 
a little oil on top. Okay, you can put that in there. So tape and in anything. So now it cooks it from both sides. It's really great. So now I'm going to try to make a vinaigrette. Okay, an egg yolk. A little pink pickled ginger, as much or as little as you like. Where is my kikaman soy sauce? A little bit. I'm used to the low sodium one. Okay. And then a little rice wine vinegar. Maybe a little more. You know, if you don't have macadamia nuts, you can use peanuts. I actually got this idea about the vinaigrette from the peanuts because I used to make a peanut vinaigrette. So and now I'm going to add, again, some macadamia nuts. I try to play with them because I'm always interested. We always use hazelnut, pine nuts, walnuts, whatever, but really macadamia nuts. So I'm going to add some of them into our sauce, into our vinaigrette. And here, mm, you don't want to... Go wherever or touch anything. You shouldn't touch at that moment you're in the kitchen when you touch these chilies. You know, they are damn hot. Some Thai chilies. All right. I'm just going to throw them in like that and see how hot it's going to be. You got some hellos from New York in St. Louis? All right. In St. Louis, it's perfect. How is St. Louis? I almost ended up in St. Louis. You know, thank God somebody saved me because... I think at that time I would have been happy because I was in Indianapolis and St. Louis was like a gastronomic capital then, you know, in comparison to uh, Indianapolis. Here, a little bit of Chinese mustard. Again, a little spice, some salt. But the kind of music, oh my God, somebody is curious. You know, I love all kinds of music. You, I love opera music. I love Kendrick Lamar. I love The Weeknd. I love Bruce Springsteen, The Rolling Stones, Queen. I mean, when Queen did the opening of the Oscars was my favorite of opening. So I'm very versatile. I'm Because of my young kids, I really, they are into all this hip hop and into rapping. Even my son Oliver play, makes the music, the beat for rapping. So they are really, really helping me to learn about modern music. Okay, now I'm going to add some oil. We have olive oil, but you could use peanut oil, any oil you like. And then I'm going to add a lot of green herb. I have parsley here. I washed it already, so don't worry. And a little bit of cilantro. You also can add a little mint. All right, let's see what happens now when we turn on my blender. Nice color, huh? What do you think? Not bad. All right. Too damn noisy. Oh my God. I love Greece. I just was in Greece, in Greece at uh, Paris Island. Amazing. Oh, it's delicious. All right. So now let me take it off. So I thought about using a little shiso leaf here and put the scallops on the shiso leaf. Where do you get it? My salt and pepper gardener. This is actually, I made it for my home first, and now we use it in the restaurant. Why? Because you only have to push one button, and it gets really easy. So you don't have to turn anything. You can fill it up. You see if it's full and everything, so it's really great. You can get it, I think, at HSN or some other stores, too. But that's where I started to sell them at HSN. Mm, look at that. The scallops are caramelized. Just perfect. And Canada. And Canada. All right. I love Canada. I used to go often up to Calgary and places like that. Calgary, I went skiing in Nakiska. I remember that. 
And Toronto, naturally. Who didn't go to Toronto? It's an amazing city. All right, let's get them off here. You know what I really need is a cocktail. I think I had wine. I drank my pinot with the rice when I had, but I have enough of the same food. Oh, look, a beautiful shrimp here. All right. Oh, my God, it sounds like somebody I know. How are you, Byron? Okay, well, this is my son Byron here. Obviously, he's younger than me because he's my son. Just a touch. Just a touch. All right. You good? I am oh, excellent. Yeah. All right. Look what I made, Byron. Come here. All right. So I made. Okay, first let's taste here. This is a macadamia nut vinaigrette. Remember, at Chinois, we make the cilantro mint vinaigrette. That's yeah, how I got the inspiration for that. Oh, my God. Not bad, huh? Yeah, it's a little spicy. Yeah, it's I put I put this guy in there. Amazing. Yeah. And is it Thai chilies? What Thai chilies, yes, yeah. sir. Awesome. Yeah. I love it. Do Do we have another spoon here? A clean one for me, so that way when we taste it. I took your only other spoon. So I know we only can afford two spoons here. It's uh, Andrew is so fucking cheap. I don't know. Give me two spoons, thank you. All right. So now. Are you going to make me a cocktail or something? I'm tired of drinking drink? my Pinot. Yeah, yeah make yeah, me yeah. a drink. Something good. A glass? Something good for a change. Yes, sir. Ooh, a real yeah, one. For a change. Ouch. Jesus. It's, ouch. Jeez. Look at that. Now we're going to drizzle the sauce on here. Just a little bit. Because it's strong, we don't need a little bit. So we. I also can try it. Maybe I'll make it on a skewer. Oh, you came in your fancy clothes here, the jacket and everything. Work, and look at that, the working man in the working cooking jacket. No tie, no fancy jacket, the sign of clothes, whatever it is. Okay. Did you make something already? No, Jesus, no, Jesus Christ. Please. Don't use the scallops oh. or the shrimps in your cocktail, the okay? I'll try, I'll try. Okay. Okay. Perfect. What are you making? You know um, already? Well, I have the whole damn bar here. Look at that. I've got a lot of Asian inspiration, so yeah. I'm gonna make some uh, some lychee. I have some yuzu. Ooh. And we're going to make like a martini here. Okay, make oh, it. Perfect. What are you going to make it with? Vodka? Yeah. All right. This is a pretty good vodka this my, here. This is my favorite vodka. With Belvedere. Here. You know, we have in Austria, I think, called Belvedere, which is like the summer home of the emperor in the old time, before you were born. In, okay, make me my cocktail. Vienna. Outside Vienna, yeah. <laughs> what are some of your favorite cocktails? My favorite cocktails, uh, I love the Negroni. And which one is the new one I like? You like the Oaxaca Negroni, the one with the mezcal in it? The one with the mezcal. Try it. One third mezcal, one third vermouth, and one third Aperol. Mix it together over ice. It's amazing. In the summer, I add a little champagne. All right. You have to measure. You don't cook like me. I don't measure. Sorry. Okay, good. It's like, it's like pastry. You okay, pastry okay, 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 okay. Right? Right. Give me some credit here. Come okay, on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you drink it like that? Oh, mm. You want to do it? Pretty good. <laughs> well, okay. now I feel. Now I feel like I'm. Oh, no, you, I, you have to disinfect it now after me. You know, <laughs> who knows where I have been. Okay, I think I'm going to have a little bit more wine. If I wait for you, I'm going to get more gray hair or no hair. I don't know. I hope you have something to drink out there, too. You know, it's just a night. Friday, nobody really works anyway. Yeah, it's somewhere it's 5 o'clock. Even for us, it's almost 5 o'clock here in Los Angeles. Okay, you have to measure everything exactly. Yeah, See, I made the first mar the first margarita I made was terrible. Why? Because I didn't measure it. <laughs> but you're right. still gonna give me a ship. Uh, yeah, measure. well, it's just the speed, the speed. I mean, your girlfriend might be happy if you go slow, but I want it a little faster. <laughs> All right, we got some ice in here. Perfect. All right. Okay. Uh, well, we're in LA, so it's in and out for me, 100%. Uh, 
Well, in and out is out for me, but I, my kids love it, so I have to eat it too sometimes. It's not my favorite food, you know. I hate to eat in the car. When we go to the airport, the kids said, just one last meal. Let's go buy the in and out burger. And I said, I hate it. I want to sit down with a glass of wine and everything. And let me tell you my first story with in and out burger. I take my then girlfriend, Galila, who is my wife now, for Valentine's to Palm Springs, to a fancy restaurant, hotel and everything. Try to impress her. On the way there, she was so hungry and complaining. When we are there, when we are there. And I, she saw an in and out burger. She said, let's stop getting in and out burger. I never had one. I drove and we got into a big fight. I had to turn around 20 miles, stop at the in and out burger. The first thing I asked them is, do you have any wine? He said, no. I said, you have some Dijon mustard with my hamburger? No. I said, fuck that burger. I don't want it. And then I tasted it. I said, you know, it's pretty good. All right. There you go. You're okay. Okay. Well, it's good. No, Did you make one for you too? No, I'm just going to drink it straight. Uh, okay. I'm a, I'm a man of simple taste. Okay, good. All right. Good. Well, let's taste. <laughs> Do we have some forks? No forks in this joint here. I'll find you a fork. Oh, okay, well, we have a skewer. It's okay. I use the skewer. Here you go. Let me know what you think. Mm. What's that? Perfect. Don't put it on your expensive jacket. Yeah, it's color. Mmm, it smells Asian. It's good. I hope it's not too sweet. I always tell Bayern, don't make it's the damn cocktail so know. sweet. It's like not. Double it's... down the amount of user for yeah, it. Okay, good. So this is uh, this is something we love to do in the restaurants. Actually, mm. this is the show me love. So, uh, so it's a lychee martini, but because I know you like really high acid cocktails, I actually exchange the limes for some yuzu. Okay. Which is really good, and uh, the Belvedere vodka I love because it's just the cleanest, and I think it works the best with that cocktail, honestly. So elderflower, yuzu, vodka, a um, little bit of sugar in there too. What do yeah. you think? Okay. I think it's good. Yeah, I think it's good with the Asian thing. You okay. taste it? Taste it. You can, you're old enough, I hope. What? 26? 26. Oh, okay. In some countries, you never can drink, but here you can drink, <laughs> you know. What um, do you think? You I like it? it yeah. uh, okay. Yeah, I'll let you finish that because you, you did the cooking. I know. I'm tired of drinking wine. Here, you can drink my Pinot here. We exchange. Perfect. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everybody out there. Okay. And don't, don't do anything I wouldn't do, all right? Stay safe. And if you get crazy, call me, okay? Hmm.